Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Keith Tech. And if you are watching and there's chlorine in the air and it's cold outside, it must be swim season. We are ready for the 2018-2019 edition of the Hopkinton Hillers swim team. I am here, Kevin Legassi announcing with uh, on my camera and other announcer, Raj. Say hello, Raj. Hey, Kevin. Hello, everyone. Raj is up on the uh, up on the camera with us, and we're ready to uh, get ready for a new season. Second year head coach. Uh, Jeff Libby, after a successful first year, finishing second in the TVL League, garnering Coach of the Year awards uh, for his uh, leadership of the Hopkinton Hillers team last year. Jeff is joined again, once again, by Karen Terry, who, as I will remind you, has promised not to uh, resign or to retire, rather, until Kate Legassi has finished, and that's at least one more year. So hopefully it's only one more year this season. And next season and also coach Jim Brainerd coach of the divers team is going to look a little different this year they graduated uh, three senior boys and nine senior women from last year's crew this year's team led by captains on the men's side Jack Brennan Zach Holbrow Connor Murchie and Colin Tyne and then uh, on the women's side Captain Abigail Fisher and Brianna Taco, diver, uh, replacing some big shoes for uh, graduating uh, team Maggie Staus from last year. So if you notice, we've got a new perch here at Keefe Tech right now. We're going to try this one out. They're gracious enough to give us a, a wonderful different booth here in Keefe Tech. And we will start our action pretty soon as Hopkinton kicks off its 2018-2019 season with a TVL league meet against Norton as the home meet for the Hillers and we will uh, be starting shortly so we're going to take a break and then we'll join you on the flip side my name is Claire. my name is Nina a gun I'm Haley hi my name is Jake we're the Hiller volleyball team my name is Emma my name is May my name is Shelby my name is Sophie we're Al my gal and we love HM hey, I want to be uh, camp. We love, love H -Camp. H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We, we love, love H, -Camp H Camp TV. Woo! Welcome back as we hear the cheers from the, the Norton squad. As we begin to set our 2018 2019 season into motion. Hopkinton Hillers against Norton High School, a league meet for the TVL meet, the TVL league. We're going to start ourselves off the 200 medley relay. Hopkinton will play swimmers in lanes two, four, and six. This is a co-ed meet, so this will be men and women swimming together. Uh, lane two, we've got ourselves Andrew Deleva, Allison Fu, Tyler Holbrow, and Ansley Worrell. Middle of the pool, Blake Briner, Sam Cody, Alyssa Fisher, Zach Holbrow. And up top, we've got Mary Lauren Burke, Ritesh Rajanigan, Tyler Fallon, and Peyton Salyards. Norton will play swimmers in lanes three and five. And the season's officially off. It's a 200 medley relay. This will be two lengths each of backstroke. Breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. Out in the center of the pool up top, that is Blake Briner. Out to an early lead, that's lane four. Followed closely by Mary Lauren Burke, ML Burke out there in lane six. And lane two, that is Andrew DeLeva. Coming in in the lead in lane four, that is Blake Briner. Handed off to Sam Cody. This will be the breaststroke. Sam Cody taken out. Extending the lead, the break Briner handed him. And then uh, the upper lane, lane six, for Tesh Rajanigan. Pressing hard with Sam Cody. And then the lane closest to us, that's lane two, Allison Fu, the Foo Fighter. Cody taking it 
deep in lane four, followed closely by Ritesh Rajanigan. Getting ready to hand off to the third leg. Cody coming in, he's gonna hand off to Alyssa Fisher for the fly. Up top in lane six, Ritesh Rajanigan handing off to Tyler Fallon. And Allison Fu hands off to Tyler Holbrow, closest to us in lane number two. Opening up a long lead up in lane four, that is Alyssa Fisher. Opening up the lead handed to her, closing quickly. Tyler Fallon, lean six, and also lean two, that's Tyler Holbrow. Final swimmer in the pool in lane four, Zach Holbrow. He will take <coughs> the freestyle, freestyle leg. Lane two, that is Ansley Worrell, and up top, that is Peyton Salyers. It's going to be an easy win in the center of the pool for Zach Holbrow. Lane four, that is Hopkinton. Competition for the second place, that is Peyton Salyards. Ansley Worrell, Peyton Salyards will hold on up in lane six. And in lane two, that is Ansley Worrell. So the team of Briner, Cody, Fisher, Holbrow takes first in lane four as the Norwood swimmers finish in lane three. And still a swimmer in the pool for Norton. Rather, I keep saying Norwood, Norton. Up top in lane five. Norton swimmer gets some cheers. And then we're gonna move over to the 200 freestyle after this. So the way the TVL league works, is these are co-ed meets, so you'll see combination and relays of men and women. You will see a significant amount of women as the girls team is fairly deep, led by senior captains Abigail Fisher, Granitaco, diver. And on the men's side, captains Jack Brennan, Zach Holbrow, Connor Murchie, Colin Tyne. Team added a considerable amount of freshmen on the men's side, they added Five freshmen to the team this year, Ryan DeLever, Tyler Fallon, Pierce Farrell, Kevin Goo, and Sean Haley on the women's side. They added one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, including diver Tess Weatherhead, swimmers Leah Patrick, Sophia Luce, Olivia J, Victoria Fisher, Yiming Fang, Deidre Belger, and Aya Baba. We have a heat number two before we go on to the heat number two. It's unofficial heat, additional heat. We've got Olivia J in lane two, Mia Carboni in lane four, Connor Murchie, the merch man, up in lane six. Again, this is also the 200 medley relay, an additional heat. Coach Libby getting some of his swimmers out into the pool. Looks like some of those freshmen we were talking about are going to be in these heats. Center pool, that is Mia Carboni. Followed closely by Olivia J and Connor Murchie up top. She'll hand off to Sophia Luce. Second lane, that's Yiming Fang. And up top, Kevin Gu. Breaststroke, 50. Center of the pool, Sophia Luce. Followed closely and pressed up in lane six. That's Kevin Gu and Ming Fang in lane two. I'm sure I will find out how all the correct pronunciations of everybody's names are. So I get my feedback from the swimmers. Center of the pool, Sophia Luce. Up top, that's Kevin Gu. Ming Fang in lane two. So grouping gets closer and they turn off. That's Holly Burns, turnover for the next 50 of fly. Holly Burns in the center of pool. Pierce Farrell up top. Closest to us, Deirdre Belger. Some familiar names, brothers and sisters of former swimmers, center of the pool, Holly Burns. Maintaining one body length lead. Center, second lane, that's Deirdre Belger. Pierce Farrell up top. Pierce Farrell and Deidre Belger fighting it out as Holly Burns hands over to Sierra Schlussel. Ray Lucas up top in six and Leah Patrick in lane one. Sprint 50, Leah Patrick in lane two rather. 
Off to a good start. Center of the pool. That's Sierra Schlussel hanging on. So opened it up now to a two body length lead, but closing fast. Ray Lucas. Ray Lucas, 53. Closing, closing hard. Holly Burns in the center of the pool is going to hold on. Then Ray Lucas and Leah Patrick closest to us. It isn't all Hopkinton heat as the additional heats are swum. Those are non-scoring heats. And for those of you keeping score at home, for every first place, that's non. For a first place finish in a relay, that's good for eight points. The second place, good for four. Third place is good for two in the individual events. First place takes six points. Second place plays four. Third place, three. Fourth place, two. And fifth place takes a point. We are moving ourselves over to the 200 freestyle. Hopkinton once again in lanes two. Hopkinton's in two, four, and six, 200 freestyle. That is eight lengths of the pool. We've got Aditya Duda in lane two. We've got Grace Cavanaugh in center of the pool, lane four, and up top, lane six. That is Kate Legassi. Aditya Duda opening up a body length lead over his teammate, Grace Cavanaugh in lane four. Legassi up top in lane six, holding fourth place. Eight lengths of the pool, all freestyles. They take the first turn after the first 50. Swimmer swimming well. That's a Dichiduda. Grace Cavanaugh closing as they close their take the turn in the first hundred. Did a holding about a body length lead. Cavanaugh starting to close. Norton holding on to third place in lane three. Kate Legassi in lane six. Easily and clearly in fourth place. Hopkinton swimmers, Aditya Duda, Grace Cavanaugh, neck and neck now as we turn and they head for the 150 with two laps left to go once they turn again. Norton holding third, Kate Legassi up top lane six. That is Duda, Cavanaugh lane four, take the turn together, 50 freestyle left. Two laps of the pool, Norton takes the turn. That is Aditya Duda in lane two. Grace Cavanaugh battling it out. Kate Legassi holding fourth place. See if she's got a little kick and if she can close something on the Norwood swimmer in third. Grace Cavanaugh with a little kick is pulled slightly ahead of Aditya Duda. He's digging hard. It's going to be a close one, too. It's Duda Cavanaugh. Lanes two, four, and it's looks like it's pretty close. <laughs> I'd give that a tie. I don't know about you, Raj. Yeah, almost. That's pretty close. Yeah, very difficult to say. Yeah. Norwood takes third, and Kate Legassi coming in, and she will take fourth. Don't quite have enough hands to be able to get any sort of times on these. We'll see what we can do as the night goes on. Norwood swimmers come back in with last lap, closing in lane five. That's Norwood taking fifth place, or Norton taking fifth place. I keep saying Norwood, I apologize. This is Norton. Norton has a small team, but, but feisty and a lot of good team spirit added to the TVL League a while ago, formation. Last year, an exciting season, as I said earlier at the beginning. First year coach Jeff Libby got himself second place in the TVL League, earned himself Coach of the Year honors in the TVL League. And Hopkinton came back, got some redemption after they lost the league championship, the league to um, Ashland last year. Hopkinton came back at the league meet and completely, utterly destroyed Ashland. 
uh, testimony to their depth, how strong a swim team they have. So we get ourselves ready for the 53. Don't get up to get something to eat. This is going to be done in 23 seconds. Closest to us in lane two, Cassie White, center of pool. Zach Holbrow up top. That's for Tesh Rezanigan. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the 2 IM. We can go get something to eat. And that does not look like Ritesh. Actually, we've got a different group of people here. We've got Abby Fisher. My apologies. Abby Fisher closest to us. It's the 2 IM. Alex Matsukas in the middle of the pool being challenged by Nord in lane five. And up top, that is Victoria Fisher. We've got a race here, folks. So they flip over into the backstroke. Hopkinson, Norton battling it out. That is Alex Matsukas with Nor Norton. And in third place, closest up is Abby Fisher. Up top, that's Victoria Fisher. Norton opens up a slight lead on top of Alex Matsukas. Matsukas battling for first, about a body length back. Closing in the backstroke is Abby Fisher. In lane two, we go to the breaststroke. This is Matsukas' stroke. Let's see if he can close the gap. And he begins to already on the turn. Fisher as well, closing ground on the Norton swimmer. Up top in lane six, Victoria Fisher hanging on to fifth, hoping to close on the Norwood swimmer to see if she can make up some ground. And Ms. Matsukas has taken the lead in the breaststroke. This is his stroke, folks. Closing quickly to Abby Fisher as the Norton swimmer tires just a little bit. They're going to turn for the last 50, 53 in this grueling race. The 2 IM, that is Matsukis turning first as he's closed and taking the lead. Challenge now by Norton. Let's see what he's got left. Norton swimmer taking the lead at the turn. They are close. Let's see who's got it. Abby Fisher, smooth stroke in lane two, closing. Norton's taking the lead. Matsukis just doesn't look like he's got enough left in the tank. A great race. But this is going to go to Norton in lane five. Nice swim, Alex Matsukis. Great swim in lane four, closest to us. That is Abby Fisher. Victoria Fisher up top, lane six. Trying to close hard on the Nor Norton swimmer in lane three. She will take fifth if she cannot close and out touch the swimmer for fourth. Does not look like she'll be able to close that gap. So, as I said, Norton with a lot of team spirit and a lot of fight. Norton takes first and fourth in the two IM. Matsukas, Fisher and Fisher, Abby Fisher, Victoria Fisher. Second, her third rather, and fifth. Matsukas takes second, being touched out right at the end. Now we'll get ready for the 53. So in the 53, closest to us in lane two, we will have Cassie White, center of pool, Zach Holbrow. And now Ritesh Rezanigan, up top in lane six. It's a big quick race. 53, 23, 24 seconds. Hopkinton school record set back in 2012, a 22-2-4. Last year we saw a lot of records fall on the women's side. We'll get to that in just a moment. We're going to have three heats of the 53. First heat, White, Holbrow, Rajanigan. Clean start. 53 is about to start in the turn. Center of the pool, that is Holbrow, Zach Holbrow. Up top for Tesh Rajanigan. Pushing hard and in lane two, that's Cassie White. At the turn, Holbrow challenged by Norton. Rajanigan up top in lane six, fighting for second. It looks like it's going to be Holbrow, Norton, Ritesh Rajanigan, and Cassie White. Good swims, nice turn by Holbrow. Good showing there by Ritesh Rajan again. Nice swim. As I said, over in a blink of an eye, 
the swimmers will work their way back down the pool. We have a second heat. Second heat will include Stephanie Kapalis, Kelly Cohen, and Sean Haley up top in lane six. And then we're also going to have another heat of 53, which will be an all Hopkinton heat. In this heat of the 53, we're going to have Norwood in lanes one, three, and five. Hopkinton looks good at the start of the meet. They will uh, they will compete against every team with the amount of depth. Hopkinton fields roughly 40 swimmers. Get an exact count in a little while. Twenty on the men's side. And it looks like close to thirty on the women's side. So a team of about fifty swimmers for Hopkinton. Norton on the other hand has about fifteen or twenty swimmers. Close to Stoss in lane two, Stephanie Kapalis sets Kaylee Cohen in the center of the center of the pool, lane four, and Sean Haley up top. That's Sean Haley out to a good start and turn, followed by Cohen and Kapalis. Sean Haley up top, nice looking swim. Sean Haley, lane six, will take heat number two. And battling it out, Stephanie Kapalis, Kelly Cohane. Looks like it was Kapalis and Cohane. Followed by the Norton swimmers. Nice swim there by Sean Haley. Freshman, Hopkinton. Good showing, young man. Swimmers will take a little swim down, loosen up. And this last heat is going to be all, uh, all Hopkinton. It's going to be lane one, Yiming Fang. Lane two, Ayababa. Lane three, Marina Gizana. Lane four, Olivia J. Lane five, Beatrice. I'm going to murder this name. Benetcher. And I'll get a pronunciation on that. Benetcher. Bonnetcher, <laughs> and then lane six, Leah Patrick. All girls, all Hawkinton, all the time. Lane, heat three. Fang, Baba, Gianzana, Jay, Bonnetcher, Patrick. Center of the pool with a big lead, that's Gianzana. Senior at the turn. Marina Gianzana up top lane six, Patrick closest to us lane two, Fang center of the pool lane four, Jay Bonnetcher and five, Baba two. Swimming for times as coach Jeff Lippy Libby has folks in the pool getting a sense of what his new class of students can do. We're going to take a quick break while we change the pool out here for diving. Raj, we can shut down and we'll join you on the other side for diving. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it, to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. And we're back.
Okay, as they announce the, the lineups. Juliana Lucas, first dive. Nice dive. Six to start off, probably. Let's see. Six, six and a half. Good. Nice to know I haven't lost my scoring capabilities over the, over the winter months. Someone else. Weatherhead for her first dive. Oh, nicely done. Another six, six and a half, probably. Good looking dive. Yeah. Nice dive by the freshman. Seven and a half. Got the Norton Diver up on the board. Nice forward one and a half. Good looking dive, five, five and a half. Nice dive. Jack Brennan up on the board. Another forward one and a half for Jack Lennon. Great elevation. Good looking. A little bit over on the entry. Lose some points for that, but a good looking dive. Six and seven. Juliana Lucas for her second dive. Forward two in the tuck position. Good score, six and five and a half. Nice dive. I believe this is Nick Capolis. Forward one and a half, tuck position. Nice dive. Five, five and a half. Yeah, five, five and a half. Right Press weather up on the board. Back dive, test. Die by test. We're able to get a quick score on the, on the North Diver. Hopkinton has taken an early lead in the first half of the meet. They're up 44 to 18. A lot of good strong swims in that first half of the meet. As Hopkinton's looking to continue their success in the diving, diving board. Oh, very nice. Two somersault forward, should be six. 
677, nice dive. Good rotation on the dive. Jack Brennan, his second dive. This is an inward or a backward. It's a one and a half. Inward one and a half. Again, a little over on the entry, but boy, he gets great height off of his dives. Nice. Not much taken off. The judges like that. That's a difficult dive. Good looking, uh, good looking dive by Jack Brown. Taco. Very nice looking dive. Six, six and a half. Good scores. Juliana. Third round of dives. Juliana will start. Very nice. Back dive. Pike position. Some good scores early on here. Lots of sixes, lots of sevens. Either the judges are feeling generous because it's Christmas time or these guys are diving well, and I think it's because they are diving well. That's Nick up on the board. Inward dive. Nice scores, three, five and a half. His chest jumps right up on the board. Nice. Another difficult dive, the inward one and a half. Need height and rotation. And she gets both, oh, good looking dive. That should be seven, seven and a half, it's easy. Oof, that looked by the six and a half. That was definitely a seven. So Norton Divers up. He's having a good round so far. His third dive. Reverse one. Tuck position. Good looking dive. Another six and a half. Good looking dive. Jack Brennan up on the board. Raj, I don't know if after you get this dive, if you. Sorry? After you get this dive, we'll get Jack first here. Okay. Oh, nice. If you can span, scan across the pool there to get just the full Hawkinton team. Sure. So you get a sense of how big the team is this year. Looks like there are roughly 50 swimmers as we get ready for. Dive, ending this round. Very nice. Another six and a half should be easily. Yeah, right there. Good looking dives. Juliana leads us into the fourth round. Dives. Starts off with the reverse. Nice. Six, six, six and a half. Divers look pretty, pretty tight already this early in the season. As Nick sets up for his next dive.
Nice dive by Nick. It's going to be busy as the Hillers start. The boys had a meet versus Wellesley on the 8th. Here we are, meet number 2 on the 12th. And they'll have another home meet at Keith Tech on the 15th. They swim versus Ashland at Keith Tech again, but that's in a way on the 22nd. That'll be a big meet. Ashland, their rival in the TBL. Then another meet on the 28th, on January 2nd, 5th, 7th, 11th, 12th, 15th. The 21st, the 25th, and then we begin the Tri-Valley League Championships on February 3rd. This is Tess Weatherhead. Two and a half, good looking dive. A lot of rotation. A lot of rotation, that was a nice dive. So, Hillers with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve meets, some invitationals. This looks going to be a busy January. Three meets, three meets remaining in uh, the month of December. So the Norton Divers up on the board. One with a half twist. We'll look forward to the meet at Dover Sherborne versus Dover Sherborne here at Keith Tech. That's going to be on uh, January 7th. That'll be senior night. This is a season that moves pretty quickly. We'll be in the February before you know it. Jack back up on the board. Another two and a half forward. Four, five, five and a half, five. Five and a half, fives. A little over on the entry. It's hard to slide that rotation down. This gets a lot of height on his dives. Gets good rotation. It's hard to slow down as you get back in towards the water. But a good looking, uh, good looking dive by Jack Brennan. On the board, Brennan. Two in the tuck position. I alluded a little bit earlier to the rewriting of the girls' record board last year, led by senior, graduated senior Andrea Way. There were one, two, three, four, five, six records on the women's side that fell. Juliana, third dive and inward one, or uh, inward half. Way set three personal records, individual records. She took the 100 freestyle. She set the 100 butterfly record. That record had been standing since 2003, held by Megan Farrell. Andrew Way broke that. Breaking 55. As Nick goes with a forward two. Rough landing. And then Way also took the 50 free. So the 1500 free. And then she was part of three record uh, breaking efforts for all three of the relays, the 200 medley. Great looking dive there by the freshman Tess Weather. Looks to be a promising young six and a half, seven and a half, six. Looks to be a promising young diver, this freshman Tess Weather. So the girls, as I said, on the girls' side, they'll be looking to replace Andrea Way. They've got a lot of depth. Good young crop of freshmen. A nice group of seniors. Ten seniors. Norton Diver with the one and a half twist. Back one and a half in the twist. 
for the senior girls, led by Abigail Fisher and Brianna Taco. Jeff Brennan, senior captain. Wow, nice dive. That should be an eight. Yeah, there we go. Great looking dive. Great looking dive. Surprised we almost didn't see a couple tens there. It's a really good looking dive. A lot of height on that dive. Just I want also want to mention the team manager this year. Bailey Simmons, Jr. Right on the sidelines for the team. Helping out with the coaches. Final round of dives. Start off by Juliana. It's Coach Libby. Coach Brainerd. Coach Terry Lacan. Back dive with one half twist. for his last dive of the night. Look finishes out the evening. Over there announcing, it's Kayla Gassie and Kayla McCann. Tess for her final dive. Great showing by this young freshman. Oh, really nice looking dive. She's had a good night tonight. She ends her night with back one and a half in a twist. Coleman from the uh, from Norton. Once we finish the diving, we're going to head into the second half of the meet. We'll see swimmers in the hundred fly, the hundred freestyle, the five hundred free. And we'll see the two free relay, hundred backstroke, hundred breaststroke, and then the four free relay. Last dive here for Coleman. Bring in one and a half. Nice looking dive. Five. Five and a half. Jack Brennan. His last dive. Great looking dive, good height. Should be seven, seven and a half, maybe. Six, seven and a half, six and a half. Yeah, there you go. Nice first outing by Jack Brennan. Good looking dives. looking dive. Boy, the divers look tight already this year. Six, six, five, and one half. 
concludes the diving. What we're going to do is we're going to take a break. While they put the pool back together for swim, we will come back in a short while, and we will start uh, with the 100 fly. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. So there you have the uh, diving announcements. Jack Brennan winning the diving. The divers all looked really good. And we are getting ourselves ready for the 100 fly. Hopkins Hill before the break was up 44 to 18. They will add, definitely add some points based based on the diving as well. Good showing. Hopkinton. 100 fly. Yep. Missing a swimmer. There we go. Norton swimmer. Heading to the blocks in lane three. What we have for Hopkinton lane two, we get Alyssa Fisher. Center of the pool, Tyler Holbrow. Up top in lane six for Tesh Rajanigan. 100 fly, four laps of pool. Center of the pool, that is Z Tyler Holbrow. Up top, that's for Tesh Rajanigan. And closest to us in lane two, that is Alyssa Fisher. Taking the turn almost together, bunched up. Tyler Holbrow, center of the pool, followed by Ritesh Ground again. Alicia Fisher and the Norton swimmer both battling it out for third as Norton takes a slight lead. Good race here between Tyler Holbrow and Ritesh Ranigan. Only about a half a body length separates Holbrow and Ranigan in lanes four and six. Norton Swimmer trying to close the gap. He's a body length behind in lane three, and that is Alyssa Fisher, lane two. Holbrow takes the turn. Rajanigan is right on him. It is Ritesh Rajanigan in lane six. Tyler Holbrow, lane four. It's going to be a close race. Alyssa Fisher is pressing. Tyler Holbrow will take first. Ritesh Rajanigan right behind him. Norton and then Alyssa Fisher. Great swims by. The Hopkinton swimmers. Good looking swim out there by Tyler Holbrow, followed by Ritesh Rajanigan. Good race. Hopkinton takes one, two, and four. After the diving, we have a scoring update. Hopkinton Hillers 56. Norton. 21. Nice job, Tyler. A 1-2 here. Tyler Holbrow with Tesh Rajanigan. Good swims. And then Alyssa Fisher following up, taking fourth. Hopkinton look strong. They look deep. They look like they are in mid-season form. Now, we don't have any watches on this, <clears throat> so we don't know exactly how the times are coming in, but they are uh, placing very well. They look pretty good. Jeff uh, Libby, Coach Libby, picking up where he left off last year, along with Coach Terry and Coach Brainerd. <coughs> Mid-season form for the Hillers. We're going to go to the 100 freestyle. Zach Holbrow, lean two. Abby Fisher in lean four. Ansley Worrell, lean six. 
as Norton puts out. Three swimmers as well. Center of the pool, that's Abby Fisher close to us. This is Zach Holbrow in lane two, Ansley Worrell up top. That is Holbrow battling with Norwood. Norwood looks strong. Three swimmers across. They all take the turn at the first 25. Holbrow, Norwood, Norwood, Fisher, Worrell. Right now is a battle between Zach Holbrow and two swimmers from Norwood, followed closely by. Abby Fisher and Ansley Worrell. Holbrow, a slight lead at the turn over the Norton swimmer, but it is close. Norton right now sitting in second and third. However, Abby Fisher and Ansley Worrell closing fast on the swimmer in lane five. That is Zach Holbrow trying to hold, extending. He's got a half a body length lead. Fisher in the center challenging for third. It's going to be Holbrow, Norton, Norton, Fisher, Worrell, and Norton. Nice swim for the 100 freestyle. Zach Holbrow with the win. Abby Fisher takes fourth, and Worrell takes fifth. We are going to have a second heat. We are going to have Kate Legassi in lane two, Kayla McCann in lane four and Carolina Russman. She'll be up in lane six. So Legacy, McCann, Russman in heat number two. Norwood put swimmers in lanes one, three, and five. So the first heat swimmer swims down, gets out of the pool. Pete Foley, head official for tonight, gets himself ready. He'll line us up for the second heat. Non-scoring, but important to the swimmers. Heat two, 100 freestyle. Caitlin Gassi in lane two, Caitlin McCann. In lane four, Carolina Rustman up in lane six. Actually, might have the lanes mixed up just a little bit. Let's see. Now it's going to be Kayla is going to be in lane two, and that is Kate in lane four. Right now it's a race between McCann and Legassi. And we've got Rustman, Carolina Rustman up in lane six. At the turn, Kate Legassi, a slight lead. Kayla McCann catching right up. Norwood in the third, and that is Russman. Carolina Russman right now in lane six, holding on to fourth. Final turn coming back for the 100 free. It is Kate Legassi in the center of the pool with a slight lead over Kayla McCann. Legassi with a slight lead. Let's see if she can close. Is strong. That's going to be Kate Legassi, center of the pool. Kayla McCann in lane two. And that is Carolina Russman up top. Norwood takes third. Carolina Russman is going to take sixth. So, on official Keat, two Hopkinton swimmers. As they get out of the pool, make sure we get the, the lanes and the names correctly. Got the optics up here as the Norwood swimmers finish it up. As she gets around to the claws. Yeah, looks like that was McCann in two, Legassi in four, and Russman in six. Swimmers swim down. Next. Next race up will be the 500 freestyle. We need to go get a snack. This is the time to do it. 500 freestyle is going to be 20 laps of the pool. And in this race for Hopkinton, we're going to see the brothers, Andrew and Ryan Beleva, 
Sofia Los Luce will be close to us in lane two. Andrew Deleva in the center of the pool, lane four. Ryan Deleva up top in lane six. Andrew Deleva, junior Ryan Deleva, a freshman. Sophia Luce, a freshman. Young group of swimmers here for the 500. The grueling race of 20 laps. There will be some pace. So waiting for the Norton swimmer to get out of the pool in lane five. She works her way down. Pete Foley puts him up on the blocks. And here we go. Andrew Deleva, center of the pool. Sophia Luce, number lane two, and that's Ryan Deleva up top. They all start out punched up, take the turn pretty much together. We got 19 laps left to go. Norton in the center of the pool with Andrew Deleva, followed by Ryan Deleva and Sophia Luce. Some good young 500 swimmers. The pace looks good. Norton, Deleva, Luce, Deleva. Norton and Norton. Brothers Andrew and Ryan DeLeva. So that's Ryan, Andrew DeLeva rather in the center of the pool. Staying close to the Norton swimmer. She begins to open up about a half a body length lead. Right on their heels, Sophia Luce, freshman swimmer, and Andrew and uh, Ryan DeLeva in lane six. Pulling even with Sophia Luce. Ryan Deleva also a freshman. Andrew Deleva, junior swimmer in the center of the pool. You'll see the lap counters at the end of the pool. 20 laps, hard to keep track of where you are. Each lane's got a lap counter. The Norton swimmer in the center of the pool. She opens up a body length lead over Andrew Deleva. As Andrew grinds to keep it to the body length. Neck and neck for third position. That is Sophia Luce, freshman, lane two. And that's Ryan DeLeva up top in lane six. Ryan DeLeva now open up. A little bit of a lead on the turn. Sophia Luce has caught him. Andrew DeLeva battling hard to keep this to a one body length lead from the Norton swimmer. She opens up just about a body length and a half. The level looks strong in the center of the pool, chasing the Norton swimmer down. As they take the turn at the halfway point. They're not quite halfway. Up top, that's Ryan DeLeva, freshman, being chased in lane two by Sophia Luce, also a freshman. Andrew DeLeva. Digging hard as he takes a turn down to his 10th lap. He's almost halfway there. Trying to hold on to that body and a, just keep it to a body length, body and a half. The swimmer from Norton tends to open up, start to open up a little bit more of a lead. She takes the turn. Halfway home. They're 10 laps in, folks. Up top, that is Ryan DeLeva. Starting to open up the lead on Sophia Luce in lane two. Ryan DeLeva, strong swimmer. Andrew DeLeva, center of the pool, holding on to second. As he turns his 11th lap. Swimming hard, trying to close on the Milton swimmer in the center of the pool. Let's see what he's got. Still a two body length lead in the center of the pool as Norton takes the turn. Lap number 12. Eight laps to go, DeLeva's close, trying to hold on. Up top in third, that is Ryan DeLeva, freshman swimmer, followed by in fourth place, Sophia Loose, Loose from Hopkinton. Andrew DeLeva in the center of the pool. He's trying to keep it close. He's grinding. Still just about a two body length lead. DeLeva tries to close. Up top, it's Ryan DeLeva takes a turn. 
Now open up the two body length feet, three body length feet of Sophia Luce. Hopkinton starts to cheer on the swimmer in the center of the pool. That's Andrew DeLever trying to chase down the Norton swimmer in the center of the pool as they turn on the 15th lap. There will be five laps to go. DeLever starting to kick a little bit. See what he's got. Ryan DeLever, freshman up top in lane six. He is clearly in third place. And we've got Sophia Luce. She's holding on to fourth place. They take the turn. There's 100 left to go. Four more laps. Andrew DeLeva, center of the pool, trying to chase down the Norton swimmer. She has a two and a half body length lead. DeLeva, let's see what he's got. He's got a dig for this last 100. Ryan DeLeva up top, clear and free in third place, followed by Sophia Luce. Andrew DeLeva, we're watching him in the center of the pool. He's chasing down the Norton swimmer. Let's see what he's got. We've got the bell lap. Norton takes the bell lap. 50 yards left to go. Two lanes of the pool. The Leva still back, two and a half body length. Let's see what he's got for a kick. Don't know that he's going to have enough. The Norton swimmer looks strong. She's in the center of the pool. Flying to Leva up top in lane six, clearly holding on to third place. Norton Swimmer with a little bit of a kick. Deleva doing what he can. It's just not going to be enough. Closing the gap a little bit. A little too late. Norton will take it. First place, Norton. Second place, Andrew Deleva from Hopkinton, center of the pool. Taking a turn now in his final lap. That's Ryan Deleva up in lane six. We'll see him come in. That's Sophia Lou. She's heading towards her turn for her last lap. Ryan Deleva up top in lane six. Freshman swimmer. He takes second, or his third rather. So it's Deleva, Deleva, and it will be loose. Norton takes first. Hopkinton takes. Two, three, and four. Proud parents in the stands. Sophia Luce, freshman swimmer. Her first 500 as a Hopkinson swimmer. As well as Ryan DeLeva. Good showing by the two young freshmen. Andrew DeLeva sent on the pool. Gave it a good effort. Came up a little short. Lane five, Norton coming in. And lane one. She's got two more laps. Swimmers will rest, hold them up against the wall. Norton Swimmer's got two more laps. She'll take her final turn. She'll be coming in for the cheers of the crowd. Next swim after this will be the 200 free relay. Norton Swimmer coming in. Cheers of the crowd bringing her in. Two free relay. Lean two is going to be Holbrow, White, Allison Fu for Tesh Rajanigan. Center of the pool, Blake Reiner, Aditya Dutta, Ansley Wall, Alex Matsukis, Mariani Giazana, Pierce Farrell, Peyton Salyards, and Stephanie Kapalis will be up in lane at six. Tyler Holbrow, Cassie White. The Foo Fighter, Allison Fu, and Latash Rajanigan in lane two. And we will have, I believe, the second heat of the two. We have two heats of the 200 free. This coach getting some of his new swimmers in. So, lane two, Tyler Holbrook, Cassie White, Allison Fu, Latesh Rajanigan, lane four, Blake Briner, Aditya Dutta, Ansley Worrell, Alex Matsukas, Mariana Ginzana, Pierce Farrell, Peyton Salyards, and Stephanie Kapalis up in lane six. Hopkinton puts 12 swimmers out in the 200 free relay. 
Each swimmer swimming two laps of freestyle. First one was up, Holbrow Brown. Tyler Holbrow lean two, center of the pool, Blake Brenner. Jumps out to an early lead, and up top that is uh, Mary, uh, Marina Gianzana. That's straight across the pool. Reiner, Holbrow, Norton, Gianzana up top. That is center of the pool, Reiner. Hands off to Dietze Duda, Cassie White in lane two. Up top in six, that's Pierce Farrell. Opening up a lead a little bit in lane four, that's Dietze Duda. Cassie White holding close, challenging Norton. Up top, lane six, Pierce Farrell. Duda opens up to a body length lead. He's going to hand over to Ansley Worrell. Center of the pool, lane six. Nice swim by Dietze Duda. Good dive, good start. Nice start and lean two by Allison Fu. Center of the pool, that's Hansley Worrell. Challenging in lean two to Norton, that is Allison Fu, the Fu fighter. Peyton Salyards up in lane six. Worrell opening up a three body length lead. He's going to hand it off to Alex Matsukas. Hopkinson challenging in lane two. That'll be with Tesh Rajanigan. This will be a good lean, good race in lanes two and three. Rajanigan, Norton up top. Matsukis was going to keep the lead. Rajanigan and Norton challenging. Let's see what Ritesh has got up top. That's going to be Hopkinton with Matsukis with the win. Rajanigan challenging. Great swim. Norton just a little bit more. Good swim in lane two, which has John again. And up top, that's Stephanie Kapalis. Anchor leg for Hopkinton in lane six. Hopkinton goes 1 3. Norton takes second. Nice showing in the center of the pool. Blake Briner, Dietze Duda, Ansley Wall, Alex Matsukas. And in lane two, Tyler Holbrow, Cassie White, Allison Fu, which has John again. And up top in lane six. Uh, Marina Gianzana, Pierce Farrell, Peyton Salyards, Stephanie Paulus. Okay, we're going to have a heat number two. Norton finishes up in lane one. For heat two, we're going to have the Merch Man leading off. Connor Merch, Sean Haley, Kevin Gu, Ryan DeLeva. Wow, DeLeva coming back after the 500. Ooh. Then in the center of the pool, Katie McCann. Uh, Kaylee Cohane, Carolina, Ra I'm going to get this one right here. Carolina, Rushman, there we go. Uh, Sophia Luce, then Fletcher Clark, Ayababa, Beatrice Bonacher, and uh, Andrew DeLeva. The DeLeva brothers coming back after the 500 to swim a leg in the two free relay. The guys are animals. That's not easy to do. Quick turnaround. They had all of about a three minute rest in between the 500. So leading off, that's the merch man, Caitlin McCann, Fletcher Clark, Fletch. Fletcher Clark is. A junior. So up top, Fletcher Clark. Caitlin McCann, center of the pool, Colin Murchie. Fletch up top. There's Fletch. I'm going to call him Fletch now. He's just going to have to get used to that. Caleb McCann, center of the pool. Connor Murchie. Fletch is going to hand it off to Aya. Aya Baba's in the pool. Haley Cohen, Sean Haley. All three swimmers in. Clean starts. Sean Haley taking off. He's going to take the lead over for lane two. Haley Cohen and Aya Baba. Haley's going to turn it off with Kevin Gu. Lane two. Up top, Kaylee Cohan's going to turn it, turn it over to Carolina Rustman. That's Gu going in the water. Rustman, followed by Beatrice Bonacher. Up 
Open it up, a big lead. Kevin Gu, lane two. Kaylee Coheen, middle of the pool. Beatrice Bonitra, lane six. Gu, strong swim, strong showing. Gonna turn it over to Ryan DeLava. Just finished, let's see what he's got. Just swam the 500, what's 550? Uh, nothing for this young man, look at him go. That's lane two taken off. We're gonna have Sophia Luce and Andrew DeLeva, another one. Just swam the 500. That's 50 more. Ryan DeLeva hanging on. They got the oxygen mask ready when he comes out of the pool. That's Sophia Luce, Andrew DeLeva. Andrew DeLeva challenging Sophia Luce. It's all about pride in this race. The lever, loose, the lever, it is the lever. Sophia loose, so two, six, four. Winning relay of Connor Murchie, Sean Haley, Kevin Goo, Ryan the lever, second place, Fletcher Clark, Aya Baba, Beatrice Bonitra, Andrew the lever, then Kellen McCann, Kaylee Coheen, Carolyn, Russ, Carolina Russman, and uh, Sophia loose. Swimmers take a quick swim down the pool. We're going to get ourselves ready for the next swim, and that's going to be the 100 back. Two, three races left to go, folks. 100 backstroke, 100 breaststroke, and the 400 free relay. There'll be one heat of each, and the 100 backstroke, Hawkinton's going to put out Blake Briner in lane two. We're going to go. Grace Cavanaugh in the center of the pool and Tyler Fallon up in lane six. And 100 Brack stroke four lengths of pool. A couple of old records on the men's size I'm looking through, a couple of dating back to 2010. The oldest record still hanging out there is Sean Terry, the 100 breaststroke at 59.88, set back in 2005. That's been standing for a while. 100 back, Reiner, Kavanaugh, Fallon. They are off. Center of pool, that is Grace Kavanaugh. Up top in lane six, that is Tyler Fallon. Closest to us, Blake Reiner. Center of the pool, Kavanaugh. They all flip right across. Brian or Kavanaugh and Fallon. Tight race. Norton's got a swimmer right up there in lane two, holding her own. Challenging the Hopkinton swimmers. Kavanaugh comes into the turn. It's Kavanaugh, Brian or and Fallon. Hopkinton one, two, and four as Norwood has moved into the third position. She's challenging for second. Blake Briner in lane two, holding on to about a body length lead, takes the turn. It's going to be a close race, We're coming back. Last leg of the 100, Briner, Kavanaugh, opening up, body length lead, challenging up in six, that's Tyler Fallon. Does he have it to take third? Briner, Kavanaugh, Fallon just touched out for third. He takes fourth. Good swim for the 100 backstrokers. Closest to us, Blake Briner, center of the pool, that was Grace Cavanaugh. And then up top, Tyler Fallon as the Norton swimmers come in. Norton took second, fifth, and sixth. Or I'm sorry, Norton took third, uh, third. Fifth and sixth. The swimmers are gonna swim back. 100 breaststroke. Lane two, that's going to be the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo. Center of the pool, Flow Magic, that's my boy Sam Cody. And up top, Mia Carboni. Foo, Cody, Carboni. For the 100 breaststroke. Hopkinton should cruise to a win tonight. Norton puts up a good fight, puts some good swimmers out. Hopkins just, Hopkins just has numbers. Uh, depth on the relays, uh, and that's a lot of points. It's hard to recover, so 
I anticipate a Hopkinton win as we uh, have two more events lined up. Referee Pete Foley gets swimmers lined up. 100 breaststrokes, four laps of the pool. Lane two, Allison Fu, Sam Cody in the center of the pool. Mia Carboni up in six. Hopkinton's got some good breaststrokers. Let's see what we got. That's Fu with a good start. Cody is up. Cody takes an early lead, followed by Norton in lane four, or lane three, rather, and Fu in lane two. What are you going to do? Fu in lane two. We got something going here. Cody in the center of the pool. Looks good. Stroke looks really good as he opens up a huge lead. After the first 50, Sam Cody looks good. Up top, that's Mia Carboni in fifth place right now. Cody opening up a lead. Stroke looks really good. Food challenging for second in lane two on the turn. Surpasses so or brought herself close to the Norton swimmer. Cody holding strong. Three body lengths. Up top, that's Mia Carboni in lane six. Foo, they take the turn coming into the last 25. It's going to be Cody's race. The question is, can Foo take two in lane two? And up top, Mia Carboni hanging on to fifth place. Allison Foo pressing. She looks like she's going to be able to beat the Norton swimmer. She's going to take second place. Foo for two and two. There we go. Norton takes third, fourth. And up top in lane six, that is Mia Carboni. She's hanging on. She's going to take fifth place. So good show by Sam Cody. That was good looking early, early swim form. Allison Fu with a great second half of her swim. She ends up taking second place, a one, two. And then fifth place up top, that is Mia Carboni. Carboni, a sophomore. So swimmers swim down. Now we're going to enter into the last event of the evening. 400 free relay. We're going to have in lane two, Tori Fisher, Holly Burns here, Schlussel, Kayla McCann, center of the pool, Zach Holbrow, Holbrow, Tyler Holbrow, Abby Fisher, Alex Matsukis. And then outside in lane six, Ray Lucas, Deidre Belger, Kate Legassi, and Fletch. Fletcher Clark. Hopkinton puts the swimmers in lanes two, four, and six. Norton in three and five. Norton, Norton. Norton's in three and five. So we get Fisher, Holbrow, Lucas. This will be each swimmer swimming four laps of the pool, the four by 100 relay. Four hundred yard free relay. relay. Each swimmer swimming hundred. Center of the pool, Zach Holbrow, followed by Tori Fisher in lane two, and up top that is Ray Lucas. Fisher, Holbrow, Lucas on the turn. It's Holbrow in the center of the pool. That's Zach Holbrow. Zach. Mid-season form, stroke looks good. Ray Lucas looks good up there in lane six. And nice turn by Tori Fisher. Lane two. Zach Holbrow. Two body length lead over Ray Lucas in lane six. Tori Fisher close behind in lane two. Holbrow's coming in. He's going to turn it over to younger brother Tyler Holbrow. Uh, nope, it doesn't look like he's turning over to Tyler. My guess is that's Abby Fisher, maybe? Or coaches switch some people out. I believe that is Abby Fisher in the water. We'll find out. I think coaches mixed it up a little bit. Closest to us is Holly Burns. And then up in lane six, that is Deidre Belger. Uh, coaches moved some swimmers around, so it's a free for all. I got no idea who's in the water. I 
think up in lane six, that might be Kate Legassi, not Deidre Belger, but I don't know. Lane four in the center of the pool. That's not Abby Fisher, I don't know who that is. All right, I'm at a loss. Let's just enjoy the swim. Lane six takes a lead for Hopkinson. Lane four has Norton, swimmer, center of the pool, closing. Norton's going to make this interesting. Norton has moved into second place in lane two. Hopkinton's challenging. Could be Alex Matsukas, although we do not know. Up top, Hopkinton with the lead. Norton has moved into second. Hopkinton lane six. Norton lane three. Hopkinton lane four. Hopkinton lane two. I believe that relay is intact, so that should be Sierra Schlissel in the water. And uh, anchor leg in that one should be uh, Kayla McCann. I think we have, uh, I believe that's Tyler Holbrow going into the water. Up in lane six. And I think that's Deidre Belger going into the water in lane four. Looks like Coach just mixed them up a little bit. So we think we got Mistookets up in lane six. Belger in lane four. Hopkinton holding on to one. Being challenged by Norwood in lane four, or lane three right now. He's got his work cut out. Norwood's pressing in the center of the pool. And this leads down to a half a body length. This is going to be exciting, folks. Turns take up in lane six. Matsukis being challenged in lane three by Norwood. Norwood, Hopkinton, bragging rights, 400 free, Hopkinton, Norwood with a good showing. Great race there. Coach mixed it up just a little bit. What an exciting race that was. Hopkinton just touches out Norwood for first. Norwood takes second. Hopkinton in lane four will take third. And Kayla McCann coming in. She's going to take fourth. Norwood still with a swimmer in the pool. We'll wait and see what we've got for a score. This is in the books for Hopkinton. Now we'll see what the final score is. And as always, once the Norwood swimmer finishes up, we're going to wait and see what cheers we've got from the from the teams. Any guesses, Rosh, as to what cheers we might see? Potato chip, potato chip, Campbell soup. <laughs> what do you think? Up the pool, down the pool, toothpaste, toothpaste. I'm not familiar with it. Not sure yet. No. Norwood swimmer still in the pool. She's got two more lengths left, left to go to wrap up the meet. A lot of sportsmanship as these Hawkington swimmers cheering on the Norton swimmers in the pool. Good start to the season, the TVL. Hopkinson will go 1 0 in the TBL to win over Norwood. Norton. Good showing. All the swimmers look tight. Jeff Libby should be pleased. Jeff paces up and down the sideline behind his team. There he goes. Norton finishes. The cheers of the crowd. Waiting here if we can get a final score here. As, uh, as uh, Pete Foley tabulates the last race. Hopkinton sensing the win, getting themselves excited. People having a conversation there in the center of the pool with a couple of the Norton swimmers. Not sure if we had a false start, but 
It didn't look that way. As we put this one in the books here, December 12th, the opening co-ed meet here at Keith Tech, home, home meet for Hopkinton. Hopkinton looked good. Senior captains did a nice job getting their team ready for the meet tonight. Jeff Libby, nice lineup tonight. Really wasn't in doubt. Norwood's got a, Norton rather, has got a, uh, a uh, solid squad, small though. Uh, Hopkinton just has numbers. As you can see, Raj, I don't know if you can see in the back there, you can zoom in on those new parkas. Hopkinton got new parkas this year. and Those are really good looking jackets. Keep those kids warm on the sidelines. Yeah, I'm on. Here we go, we're ready for a cheer. Let's there we go, toothpaste. Toothpaste, toothpaste, we like crest. We think Norton is the best. Let's see what Norton's got. I'm going to wait for a final score. Let's see if we get the Norton cheer first. We're trying to figure out. Let's see. Well, that was a new one. We didn't catch the beginning of that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. Hopkinson swam with all their might. Huh. That one was new. So we'll catch the teams giving each other wet high fives and passing the germs on to one another. <laughs> this is the cold and flu season, as you've heard both Raj and I sniffling and sneezing in the background. Well, you could hear that? What's that? Did you hear that? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. So this one's in the books as the 50-man Hawkinson swim team roster shakes hands with the 15-man Norton swim team. We'll wait for a final score, but this is clearly a Hopkinton win. Um, we'll see if we can get a final score and then we can wrap it up for tonight. Thanks to Raj Rajan again up on the camera. Nice job tonight, Raj. Thank you, Kevin. I'm Kevin Legassi. We'll uh, wait for a final score. We'll give you the final score, and then we'll sign off. Good win by Hopkinton. The crowd begins to filter out. Let's see if we can get a score. Should hear it shortly. Just wasting a little bit of air here. Quick meet, that took about an hour and 40 minutes. Not too bad. Hopkinton swims next this Friday. Also at Keefe Tech, so if you're not doing anything, you want to come down. Pillars will be at Keefe Tech. And they will be uh, against Medfield. That is a five o'clock start. So on the 15th, and then they will get, uh, that'll be a big test of the TVL League. And then they will have another test just a few days later, one week later against Ashland. Crosstown rival Ashland, the Clockers beat them last year for the TVL championship, even though Hopkinton took the league meet. It's been a while since Hopkinton hasn't had the TVL championship. So we'll see what Coach Jeff Libby can do. Giving his team some encouragement. They swam a good uh, a good meet tonight. We're just like I said, wasting a couple of minutes here to see if we can get a final score. So Friday the 15th and then Friday the 22nd. Hopkinton uh, will Kevin, swim. Kevin, isn't Friday the, sorry, 15th is a Saturday? 15th Saturday? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Is that the final score? Final score? Okay. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, check that. Sorry, folks. It's not Friday. It is Saturday the 15th. Getting a little ahead of myself. And then it'll be Saturday the 22nd. Those will be the next two meets. They will be here at Keith Tech. 
we just wait for a final score, trying to figure out what the score is. It's definitely a Hopkinton win. We just want to hear what the final is. See if we get an announcement. Looks like we might. Yep. Nope. Should be coming. Teams are kind of waiting. And then after Medfield and Ashland, Hopkinton will swim on the 28th to end the year. That'll be uh, versus Whalen, Waltham, and Wellesley. That'll be a big meet. That's at the Whalen Town Pool. That's on the 28th. Uh, that's going to be a long meet. And that going to be a tough one as well. Yeah, we won't be filming that one, folks. Thank goodness. That'll start at noontime. That'll be a four-hour <laughs> quad meet. So, but we will be back here uh, at Key Tech on Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. and then the following Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, the next meet will be Ashland versus Medfield.